The first time we open AutoCAD, this window here pops up. There are not pretty important stuff to find, but I will still explain it. Here in recent, mostly we will have a couple of windows for the AutoCAD files we previously worked on. Right now I don't have any because I clean installed the program. Then we have here Autodesk projects, which I did not install and never used. Learning, you could find some of AutoCAD tutorials directly from Autodesk. And my insights, again, not very important and have never used it myself. The two important things here to explain in this window are open and new. In open, you can find open files, open sheet and explore sample drawings. Open files, you can open the previous AutoCAD files you have saved. And on new, by directly clicking on it, it brings us to the AutoCAD drawing window where we can start to draw. We could, by clicking this plus here, we can create another window and another window. So we can work on multiple different projects at once by only switching from one window to another window. Right now, I don't need these two, drawing number four and five. By clicking even drawing number three, closing it, it takes us back to the first window. This time I won't click on new alone, simply I will click on this arrow here and browse templates. Here you have different templates useful for different drawings and you can choose according to your pre preference. Right now I choose the default one, ACAT. Select it and click open and we get to our drawing file. Here we have a couple of navigation tools, pretty handy when we work on 3D. And we have here the cube, which allows us to rotate and navigate through our drawing. The most important part, things here in AutoCAD to know about are two things. The first one here, the ribbon, where you have the drawing tools, the modify tools, annotation tools, layers, and etc., which we will soon cover in our tutorial. All this is called the ribbon. And we also have here the most important part of the AutoCAD interface, which is the command line. We will regularly use it. Here we can type all the commands of AutoCAD instead of searching for their icon here in the ribbon. It's much faster. Simply we type the shortcut and we get the commands here activated. Right now, let's start with the ribbon. With our first part, the drawing tools. Here we have line, polyline, circle, arc, rectangle, different type, rectangle and polygon if you click on this arrow. And on circle also, if we click this arrow, we get to draw different type of circles in different methods from center to radius, center diameter, two point, three point circles and etc. So let's start with our first command, which is the line tool. We click on it to activate it, coming back to our drawing interface and click and move to any direction you would like to. We could simply, right now you see, it tells me the dimension of the line. We could simply click and right now the line is 8.795 units. Click or I could specify the length by simply typing on my keyboard, for example, five, enter. Now move to the right side. I want it to be two units, two, enter. I want to come down by five units, five, enter. And so on. To escape any command, either hit space or escape on your keyboard. So to delete anything in AutoCAD, simply from right to left, anything that the green window touches will be selected and to delete it, simply type in the command line, erase. So again, the line, five units, five units, I will go up five units and close it. That's it for the line. The polyline, click on it, and it's as you see, 
it's very identical to the line. The difference is, I will just show you. Click, go up, and let's create a triangle. To exit the command, hit space or escape on your keyboard. This was drawn with the line and this is drawn with the polyline. The difference is anything drawn with the line consists of separate segments, while the polyline clicking on it is one object. That's the difference between line and polyline. One more thing, if I want to draw a line with, diff with a specific length and specific angle, simply click. For example, I want my line to be in 30 degree greater than symbol. This symbol, type it, press shift and this symbol on your keyboard. For example, I want it to be 45 degrees, hit enter. And as you see, the line is locked to 45 degrees. And then I type 10, 10 units. Now we have an angle. A line with 45 degree in angle and 10 units length. The circle, by clicking on it, we get the circle center to radius. Here, we randomly choose a point or type the radius. For example, 3, enter, and we get a circle which with the radius of 3. We can also choose different types of the circle by clicking this arrow here. For example, the two-point circle, I specify, sorry, let me enable all my snap tools. I recommend you to do the same and I will explain in a bit what the snap tools are. They are very, very important. So let's go back and activate our two-point circle, select the first point and select the second point. This is a two-point circle we could also have the arc and we have here many arcs in different methods to draw from start and angle start center and the way you want to draw your arc for now i want to go with start and angle start and angle okay yeah and we have drawn an arc as you see. So the rectangle, we can simply click on its icon and draw by clicking left click anywhere on the viewport and move to your desired rectangular size. Or we can type the rectangle by click on it Create it with specific dimensions by clicking on it and then on your keyboard type 2 and then comma on your keyboard and again 2. And as you see, we have created a square which is 2 by 2. Clicking this arrow here next to the rectangle tells us we could also draw the polygons. So I want to go and click anywhere. First, as you see, next to our cursor, it tells us enter number of sides. I want it an pentagon, so five, enter. Click, inscribe it in circle, yes, and we draw a pentagon in the direction and angle and size we want. So I would like to choose five, enter. We also have here an ellipse, center, radius, and we can draw an ellipse. And all the other shapes here by clicking on draw, you find many more methods. For example, the spline, by simply when you want to draw something organic or have curved lines, and etc. I strongly advise you to experiment with these ones. So now we come to the modify tools. We have here the move tool by clicking on it. We have to select a shape. Enter and we can move the shape to any location we want. 
to reactivate the previous command, simply hit spacebar and it again simply reactivates the move command. Copy. We can select an object and copy as many as we want by simply selecting the object and copying to the location we want. Stretch command. If we want to stretch an object, click on it, include the end vertices, and then hit space. And as you see, we can stretch the object the way we want to. Rotate, click on it, select an object, then hit enter, and we can rotate the object the way we want. Mirror, mirror, click on it to activate it, select an object, hit enter, choose a point, and then move your mouse, and as you see, it mirrors it. I mirror it by 369 degrees, click, and now erase source object. If I click yes, it deletes the source object. Control Z on your keyboard to go back, and this time again, I select the object, mirror, and again, I mirror it. This time, I click no. I want to keep the source object. We have also here the fillet command. Activate it, right click on your mouse and go to radius and specify a radius rather than zero. If you want to keep it zero, it's still okay. I want to have a radius of one. Enter, select the first line and select the second line. And as you see, the fillet command with the radius of one creates rounded corners. So, we have learned these commands. The important command here, text, if you want to type anything, for example, auto cat and enter. This is useful for, okay, click E, on your keyboard for erase, enter to delete it. Dimensions, very important. For example, linear, align it. I will choose align for the purpose to take the dimension of this rectangle and you see it's five units. We created here a square of two by two units. To reactivate the previous command, hit spacebar on your keyboard and to from start to end, it takes dimension, aligned dimension, and as you see, our square was two by two. To change the color of an object, simply select the object, and either here we have to change its layer, or here in the properties tools panel, we change it to any color we want. Escape, we choose our next object and change the color, of our objects to our desired or preferred color. Uh, let me choose another color for this one, yellow. And like this, you change color. We also have here line thickness. For example, I want this, the thickness of this line to be thicker compared to the other one. I choose 0.3. Right now, nothing appears because we have to come down and click on this three lines and find line weight, click on it and then its icon comes here, activate it and as you see, we get a thicker line. We can also change line type. For that purpose, we have here to load different line types. I will leave this for another tutorial. One last thing, very important, I want to share with you in this tutorial before I sum it up. We found the line command here and draw. We found here modify tools. We select an object, enter our space bar, and we can move it. So drawing tools, modify tools, annotation tools, as we took dimensions, and many more. 
instead of every time coming to the ribbon and finding these commands here, we could simply here on the command line, we can simply type L for line, it's the shortcut, enter, and we can start to draw. We can simply type REC for rectangle, click on it, and we can start to draw a rectangle. For example, 5, comma, 7, enter. For example, I want to activate the move command. I do not have to come here every time and activate it. Simply I type here, move, enter, select the objects, enter, specify any point and you can move the object around. Scale, if I want to scale an object, I do not have to click on its icon. Simply I type here, scale, enter, select the objects, enter, specify a point, and I want to scale it by two, two times bigger. And as you see, I have done so. You see here, we have a virtual grid in the background. I want to turn it off. We do that simply by disabling or clicking on this icon here, and we get to turn it off. If I want to draw lines in only 90 degrees, Find this icon here or press F8 on your keyboard, which is the ortho mode. Click on it and as you see, we can only draw in X and Y, so in 90 degree angle. If you remember here, I had some of them turn it off. These are very important endpoint, which helps us. I have currently all of them activated. If I want to draw a line from the center of this line, I bring my mouse and as you see, it tells me the midpoint. For that purpose, I have turned it on the midpoint snap. The center tells me the center of a circle. If I want to draw a line from the center of the circle, simply hover over the edge and it gives me a plus where it tells me where the center of the circle is. And that was it for our tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section. Share with you me your opinion and give me feedback on my tutorial. I'm more than happy to have a discussion with you in the comments section. If you like the tutorial, hit like, subscribe, and see you soon in our next tutorial. Thanks for watching.